Hello my friends, it's me again, your favorite denture wearer. I don't have any teeth in. I am attempting to do something here that I have never seen a tutorial on, and there are no videos on YouTube showing how to do this. Now you know, if you've been watching my videos for a long time, you've seen me attempt this before. <coughs> Trying to do a green screen with a video in the background using my action camera. Now I have to be honest, the last time I tried this I was using a GoPro. Action cameras are not designed for indoor use. So the issue I've always had is I've always had a green aura around me because of light reflecting off the green screen reflecting on my back and leaving a green aura around me. And the other issue I've always had was that my face is always just a little bit fuzzy because action cameras are not designed for indoor use. They're designed to bring in full light from outside. That's why Night videos are not good with action cameras. That's why indoor videos are not good with action cameras. But the simple fact is, I know there has to be a way that I can do green screen videos with my action camera. This camera is not a GoPro. This camera is a drift Ghost XL Pro. I have been using these cameras for years, but I've never tried to do a green screen with them. I made my first attempt just with the light in the ceiling. That did not work out very well. So I put up some LED lights and I ended up with shadows on the background video you could see my shadow which distorted the background video this time I'm using different lights and I've had all this equipment for a long time and I never worked with a GoPro and I can't afford to buy a really good Lumix camera like I used to have at this stage of the game because I got bike payments now so I decided to try it with my Ghost XL camera. Now the video in the background is just me riding my KLR650 out in the dirt, out in the woods, having a blast living my life, just doing what I love doing. And I wanted to put that video in the background just so you could see you can live your life with dentures. You don't have to let your dentures control everything about your life. Yes, when you first get them, you focus on them 24 hours a day, 7 days a week. But you have to get past that. You have to start living your life or you're never going to live your life. Now, with that being said, that video in the background is just proof that you can live your life with dentures. And... This video that I'm recording right now is proof that as long as you don't give up, you can figure out a way to do just about anything. So in my first attempt, I didn't have enough light. My second attempt, the LED lights I was using were casting shadows on the wall. I've got these giant umbrella lights right up here on each side shining down on me, plus the light up there shining forward on me, and all my shadows are down at the base of the wall where you can't see them and where they're not interfering with the video. One of the issues I have is that every video I've watched about green screen videos, even when I was doing them with my really good camera, I still had a green aura around me, a green silhouette. I don't have that now. The reason is, is because of the lighting, number one. Number two, I've learned how to edit 
the green screen video to get rid of that green reflection coming around me. There's no tutorials on how to do that either. Every video I've seen says if you have a green silhouette around you, you're too close to your green screen. You need to be six to eight feet away from your green screen. I am two feet away from my green screen. I don't have a big enough room to be six or eight feet away from my green screen. So because I never give up, I've learned how to edit that green silhouette out of the video. So all you see is me crystal clear in 4K and you see the video in the background at 4K. That my friends is a beautiful thing and that should teach you that you should never give up. I am very excited right now because I am making this video in my room, in my office, two feet away from the green screen when you're supposed to be six to eight feet away. I'm not using a thousand dollar camera. I'm using a three hundred dollar action camera, which is not a good indoor camera, but I've compensated for that. I've compensated for being so close to the green screen. I have learned a plethora of stuff when it comes to editing videos that I've never really put into practice. So, for example, editing this video, not only do I have to compensate for the lighting, I also have to compensate for being so close to the screen and I have to compensate for a camera that is not good indoors. And I've learned how to do all that. I made some green screen videos last year that were pretty good. They were okay. But all I had in the background was a picture. I didn't have a video playing in the background. I decided I wanted to do green screens with videos in the background and because I'm stubborn and I never give up this is about my I honestly can't tell you how many times I've tried this hours and hours and hours and hours and hours I've been doing this for about three weeks now to be honest I make a video I do the best I can editing the video, I upload it to YouTube, I watch it on my 4K TV, and it sucks. So I delete it, I don't upload it public, I upload it unlisted so only I can watch it, and then I try something different, and I put upload it unlisted, and then I watch it, and it sucks. There's always something wrong. For example, the first time I made a video, the lighting wasn't good enough. The second time, there was too many shadows on the wall. The third time, I was using a handheld microphone, but the problem was the fuzzy part of the microphone must have some sort of green in it because you could see the background video through the microphone as if it wasn't even there. So it looked like you were looking right through the microphone and me at the background. That wasn't good. Then I attempted it again and I thought I would use my phone as to record my audio so I had my headset on. And the problem with that is that my headset is black which also shows the video through the headset like the headset's not even there so you're watching part of the background video on the side of my face that didn't work out very well <laughs> and my eyes are green so I have to keep my glasses on to keep the video from play the background video from playing in my eyes which is not good um, 
my watch my watch is also green and if you look at it you can see the background video playing in my watch when you do a green screen video anything that's green will disappear and the background video will show through that now I'm sure you can see on my shirt you can see it glistening like it's in, like it's glistening in the light that's the background video showing through some of the stripes on my shirt because they disappear this has been a real pain in the ass for me but I'm figuring it out and doing the video this way not only am I proving to you that I never give up and that I will figure something out just like I figured out how to use my dentures correctly and eat correctly and function correctly and whistle and sing and talk and all of that stuff and I know I don't have my dentures in right now but I also did something else I learned how to speak perfectly clearly without my dentures in my mouth so that you could understand me if I made a video without my dentures and so that when I'm on the phone if I don't want to wear my dentures I don't have to worry about sounding like a drunken babbling idiot <laughs> that is not a denigration to anybody that has a hard time speaking without their dentures it's just a fact when we don't have our dentures in we slur our words and we sound like we're drunk I'm not denigrating anybody it's just a fact so I practiced and practiced and practiced until I could speak perfectly clearly without my dentures in. We can all do that if we try. It's not, I don't have a special talent or a special gift. I'm not somehow enlightened beyond everybody else to be able to speak clearly without my dentures. I simply took the time to practice and I don't mean sitting here going by yourself I mean speaking out loud to yourself while you're walking around your house walking around your house talking just like you would if you were talking to somebody else and listening to yourself and realizing that you're slurring certain words and you need to figure out how to reposition your mouth and pronounce those words using your tongue in a different position some people just don't want to do that and I understand they're like I don't talk to anybody when I don't have my dentures in fine that's okay I'm not telling you you have to learn how to speak without your dentures I'm simply saying if you want to learn how to speak clearly without your dentures you need to practice so something about the green screen that I want to show you if this works you will notice the green screen the video in the background will play on the through the back of the phone now there's a reason for that and it's not because the phone is green the phone is actually black but the reason it does that is because when you're doing a green screen you do a chroma key which turns the screen in the background completely black so you don't have any green showing through the background video it turns it black and because it's black and you're overlaying the video anything that's black the background video will play on including a phone including a black headset including black glasses including black stripes in the shirt 
and because of that anything that's green will also show the video playing in the background like my eyes that's why I have my glasses on and you may still be able to see the video playing in my eyes if I get close enough to the camera which I am currently not going to do let's see if the video will play through the background of this glasses case I don't know if it will to be honest but if it does that would be very cool and that would just prove my point my glasses case is black so there's things that I'm learning about doing green screen videos that nobody tells you about when you're watching tutorials on YouTube they tell you if you're using a green screen don't wear anything green what they don't tell you is that when you're using the green screen with a, and doing chroma key you can't wear anything black either <laughs> So that blows me away. That's something I learned. And I think it's amazing that I'm learning all this stuff because honestly, I want to learn more. It, I'm excited about learning more. Now I've got the lighting in here absolutely perfect for doing green screen videos. You notice my face is not fuzzy. The lens on the camera is crystal clear. I've cleaned it really well. I have the perfect lighting, so my, my video is not grainy. The video in the background is playing beautifully of me riding my bike out on a single track. That's another thing. When I first started riding my motorcycle last year, I bought that motorcycle brand new. I had never had an adventure bike before and I had never ridden a single track before I bought the bike and I went out on single tracks so I had a brand new bike that I had never ridden before and I was riding on trails out in the woods that I've never done before and I made a lot of mistakes and I fell down a lot <laughs> and that's part of learning so a child doesn't just stand up and start walking they get up they take a step they fall down they get up they take a step they fall down they don't understand what it means to give up they don't understand that they're too young that all they know is everybody else is walking I'm going to walk and they keep trying and they keep smiling and they never give up.